Hey yo, what's going on guys? So as you can tell by the title of this video, I went without social media for a week. And here's what went down. So I'm just gonna be describing um, how I limited my use, like what were my boundaries, how I felt throughout the week, and lastly, what I've learned from it. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first, my limits. I basically thought of social media as Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Obviously, those are the four that I use. Um, I understand there's more social media apps, but I don't use those. So what I did was I deleted all those apps, and I had to warn my cousin ahead of time, just so you know, we're gonna lose our snap streak. Just warning you ahead of time. Um, so I basically just deleted all of those. Um, the only one I kept was Twitter, and that's only because I had two bands that I'm a fan of, and I had their notifications on, and they had a ton of like promo and stuff going on this week, and I kind of wanted to be in the loop. So that was the only thing that I was on Twitter for though, like literally nothing else. I never went on Twitter besides looking at their tweets about promo events. That's me trying to excuse that. Okay, so that was kind of my limits. That's where I set it off. So Sunday night is the night that I deleted all of the apps. It felt like a part of me was like gone. That sounds so stupid and I know like, you know, our generation is so wrapped up in social media, but it honestly felt really weird to like delete them and like, okay, that's it. I felt really disconnected. That's what I felt like. I felt really disconnected. Like all of a sudden, everything happening in the world, I just wasn't aware of, which is weird. Cause I can like go on like news websites or I can go on like CNN, New York Times and still be informed about what's going on in the world that actually matters. But I still felt really, really disconnected from everything. So I almost didn't go through with it. I was almost like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I just don't want to do this. But the reason I wanted to do this was my anxiety has been really, really bad lately. And anxiety is, can be said to be related to your use of social media. So I was like, well, Maybe I'll delete it and we'll see what happens. So Monday was the first day where I was like pretty much no social media. And the reason this was really hard is because when I'm waiting for my class to start, so like I'm in college, okay. So when I go to class, you know, it's not like the bell rings and you go right to class, right? So you wait there for a while. Like I always get to class super early because I'm that person that, you know, gets there like half an hour early. And so whenever I get there, you know, you go on your phone because literally everyone around you is on your phone. So I was like, what am I gonna do? I. What, what am I gonna do? And so I started using Wattpad a lot. If you don't know what Wattpad is, it's known for its fan fictions, but I was actually using it to read more, like just read other books that are on there, because they're like normal, like teen fiction or romance, fantasy, everything that you could pretty much think of. They have a lot of that too. So I was reading a lot of that, and I noticed I was like reading a lot more because I didn't have anything else to do. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was, it was actually very nice to like read a story rather than scrolling through my Instagram feed. Like it was actually a lot more relaxing or a lot more like, I don't know, I just liked it a lot more. That does get boring after a while because you're just kind of sitting there and you're like, okay, this is all I can do now on my phone, you know? So Monday I think was the hardest just because I was most tempted to like re-download them or like, you know, go on like Safari and find Instagram, you know? I, I was more tempted to like do, I was more tempted to go back to social media, um, but I tried to stay away as much as I possibly could. And I, I did succeed for the record, I did succeed. I did not use any social media besides Twitter for one reason only. Uh, throughout the entire week. One thing I also noticed during this week was that I used my phone a lot less because suddenly my phone didn't have nearly as much on it as I could possibly do. Like there was really nothing on it that I could do besides like watch YouTube videos. I counted YouTube. I, don't, I mean, I don't think of YouTube as like social media, so I just didn't. Yeah. Um, so I still watched YouTube videos um, and Netflix and I read. So that was pretty much all my phone was used for. So I used it way less than <laughs> than what I used to. And so my phone battery, like I'd go to bed and it still be like at 70%. Like all day I, used, I had my phone on me and when I went to bed at night, it was like still at 70%. I'm like, this is insane. One thing I noticed was that I didn't even, as the week went on, I was way less tempted to like go on social media. I didn't even want to go on social media anymore. You know what I mean? I, it, it was almost like it wasn't, like on Monday and Tuesday, I was like, oh, I like, I had to keep reminding myself, oh wait, don't go on social media, like, you don't have apps, you can't, you know? But then as the week went on, I started, like, not going on them nearly as much. Like, I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't even, it didn't even, like, register that I would even go on social media. Like, it was just kind of like a habit where I didn't. Honestly, as the week went on, my anxiety was really low this week. And it was probably because midterms are over, so now I don't have nearly as much school, so it's like, 
dumb. It's, you know. But I felt like it was, like, I just felt a lot calmer. I mean, I was still nervous for things, and I was still kind of anxious, you know, it, that, that was still occurring. But I was definitely not as stressed out as I was for the past two or three weeks. Like, for the past two or three weeks, I've had a lot of acne, I've stressed out a lot, I haven't been sleeping, but then this week, I just, like, again, midterms have a huge part in that, so that, yeah. But I also just felt a lot calmer. And I just, and I honestly feel like social media had a huge part in that. Because I wasn't looking at other people's tweets or Instagram, like, posts. I wasn't seeing, oh, how great this person's doing here. Oh, this person's problems is way worse than mine. You know how people, like, on Twitter will, like, rant about something? And it's just, like, negative energy that's, like, bogging you down, you know? Or I'll look on Instagram and everyone's posting, like, oh, look at me. I'm super, like, popular and, like, you know, all this stuff. And it, it, kind of, it gets to you. And so... Um, when I wasn't looking at that and I wasn't paying attention to that at all and it wasn't even on my radar I was just kind of doing my own thing. You know, I was in my own zone. I was Doing my I was just I was very productive too. I mean, when I don't have social media. I mean I Get stuff done. You know, I do a ton of homework that I have. I do all my readings I started writing again like writing like stories that I used to do on Wattpad all the time and I started doing that again um, I'll leave that link down below so you guys can go like check out my other stories. I'm like having a new one coming out after Christmas, just letting you know. But I, I started being creative again. I started like, I started kind of being in my own zone and it was really, 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 really relaxing. And I, I just, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I really, really enjoyed it. And like today, when this video is going up, is the day that I got my social media apps back and I, I actually didn't want to. Like, I didn't want to re-download Facebook. Snapchat I kind of did just because, like, my cousin and I talk all the time on there, so, like, that was the one thing. Um, but, like, Facebook I didn't really want to re-download. Instagram, I mean, sure. Twitter, I wanted to, like, start using that again just because that's, like, my main kind of social media app that I use. So that was actually really difficult to, like, not go on, so on, go on Twitter except for that one reason um, because I'm always on that app. But, like, today, even so, when I got the apps back, I mean, on Twitter I was on a lot today, I will admit that, because um, I need to play, play catch up, you know? But I, I didn't want to go on it as much as I would before, or like Instagram, I probably checked it once today, when usually I check it like multiple times and I just scroll through. And when I even checked Instagram that one time, I didn't keep scrolling, I looked at like one or two pictures and then I just got bored and I just didn't want to look at it anymore. Um, Facebook, I literally have not gone on it all. Um, Snapchat, I'm literally never on it unless my cousin sends me a Snapchat. Before I would like look through Instagram, or look through Snapchat stories, I'd look through the different articles. And now I just don't even look at, and it's, I know it's only one day, so like technically I don't know how this will affect me later. I'll probably like start using them more and more as time goes on. But as of right now, I don't really have a need to look at those apps. And it's really, really refreshing to just not even worry about that and to be more creative and be more productive. Um, and kind of like take time for myself rather than worrying about what everyone else is doing. You know what I mean? And it's just really, really like, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know? Like just not having to deal with anyone else's problems or like look at what anyone else is doing, compare my life to theirs. Like I can just, just push all that away and just focus on myself. And it's so refreshing. And I'm so glad that I did this. And I'm so glad that I went through with it. And I, cause literally Sunday night, I was like, I feel too disconnected. I don't like this. I don't know if I want to do this. But I went through with it and I would definitely do it again. If I ever get too stressed out, I'm 100% going to do this again because I really, really enjoyed it. And I don't think I'm going to use social media nearly as much as I did before because I just don't have a need. I, I realize that I'm fine without it, you know? Like I realize that, you know, I can be kind of disconnected and it's okay. I don't need to know everything that's happening. If, you, if you've ever like wanted to try like getting rid of social media or if you ever wanted to try like you know, maybe taking a break. Maybe not like all apps at once, but like maybe like for Twitter, I'm not gonna use it for this week or Instagram, I'm not gonna use this week, you know, or Facebook or Snapchat, whatever you use. I'd say go for it because it was really, really refreshing, especially if you're stressed out or you have a ton of stuff going on and you know that that's just gonna distract you or you know that like, oh, I don't, I don't think this is gonna, you know, help me in any sense and I should really like not like stay away from it. I'd say go for it because it really, really helped and I really enjoyed taking time for myself, you know, so. So that is it for this week's video. Hopefully this is pretty short. I actually don't I have no idea how long this video is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want me to do other things like this where I get rid of something for a week or I have no idea. If you have any of those ideas, 
uh, let me know in the comments below. Or like, don't wear makeup for a week. That's never gonna happen. If you really want me to do that video, I might, but um, that probably won't happen. Um, also, if you guys have any video suggestions for me, make sure to comment them down below. Um, again, I can't think of everything, and if you guys really want to see me do a video, let me know. Whether it's a challenge, it's a vlog, it's a get ready with me, it's a review. Anything you want to see, other subscription boxes I haven't tried, let me know in the comments below. And I very, I would very, I, I would definitely be willing to do that. Okay. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, as always, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!